fashion. Hey guys, it's Isabel. So today I have a very, very easy glam look for you guys. This is actually inspired by my favorite fashion blogger ever, Christina Bazan. If you don't know her, she's actually the creator of Kature.com, which is absolutely amazing. You guys need to go check it out. She's so inspiring. She's like 21 years old and she just travels all over the world and she just lives a fabulous life and she dresses amazingly. Just so much class, so much elegance, and her makeup is always very dramatic. She always has a very strong brow. Usually for dressier occasions, she'll have a very, very bold statement cat liner and just very natural looking eyelashes. I don't really see her using falsies. And then usually kind of simple and fresh looking on the face and a nice nudie lip or even a red lip. So if you guys would like to get this gorgeous, bold, glam look, Inspired by Christina Bazon, then please keep on watching. So to recreate Christina's brows, I'm taking the medium shade from my Bodyography eyebrow palette and shaping my brows. Her eyebrow shape is kind of similar to mine. It has a soft arch to it, but it's super defined. So I'm making sure my lines on the edges are very neat and I'm going into the inner part of the brows and kind of rounding them out a little bit and making sure they're very bold and filled in. Next, I'm taking Limit from my Urban Decay palette and packing that on my lid with a dampened flat brush. And then I'm taking Nooner on a small fluffy brush and just blending that into my crease, into the inner corners to the outer corners and creating a sweeping cat shape and just making sure it's nice and faded. Next, I'm taking this matte reddish brown from my e.l.f. palette with a small fluffy brush and blending that right over Nooner. A and then taking Trick on a small flat brush and just packing that right over the lid. And then blending it through with a big fluffy brush. Next, taking Black Heart on a small little fluffy brush and blending that into the outer V of my eye. And then taking Factory on a small flat brush and blending that underneath my lower lash line. And taking Trick and putting it right over Factory. Next, I'm taking my Smashbox Felt Tip Liquid Liner and I'm creating a very strong and defined cat eye. I'm lengthening it out a lot more than I normally would and I'm making it super rounded because Christina always has a very rounded shape to her cat eye and I'm making sure it looks as thick as possible and then going over with my Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Eyeliner to make it even more dark. Curling my lashes and applying my L'Oreal Extra Volume Collagen Mascara to my top and lower lashes. Now for this face, I'm taking my Model Co. Bronzer with a Sephora brush and just blending that into my cheekbones for definition. Not really to make my face look any darker, just to make my cheekbones stand out and up on the forehead as well. And then going to contour my nose with my So Susan Bronzing Palette. Next, I'm taking my Ofra powder highlighter and taking a fan brush from Sephora and putting that on my cheekbones to give me a nice glowy look and on the bridge of my nose and Cupid's bow and chin. And then for the lips, I'm taking this gorgeous nudie pink color and putting it all over the lips and then kind of defining my lips with my MAC Nice and Spicy and just putting that on the edges to define my lips. And that's all there is to it. Obsession. Obsession. So we're done with the look. I hope you liked it. It was very fun to do. You guys can also add some falsies if you'd like, but I wanted it to stay pretty true to how Christina does her makeup. If you guys liked the video, please give me a big old thumbs up and please subscribe to see more videos from me. Please give me your feedback down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. It really makes my day to see your nice and positive comments. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.